Well, good afternoon, folks, or good evening, or good morning, depending on whereabouts you are. And I do wonder how many of you say that along with me at the start of the video. There's got to be some of you out there. <laughs> A very warm welcome, as usual, back to What's For Tea. If you're new and this is your first time here, this is What's For Tea. My name is Cheryl. We're a family of four from the west coast of Scotland, and this is just our meals from the previous week. You might call it dinner, we call it tea. And I just like to show you because it might give you ideas for you and your own family. And these are some of my most popular videos. I mean, I love watching these types of videos on YouTube and that's why I started making them. I always start off on Monday all the way through till today, which is Sunday. And I'll also have a selection of your comments along with giveaway details just at the end of the video as well. So let's go and see what I made this week. And any videos that I've done on the meals that you see will be linked in the description box underneath the video. So yeah, let's go and see what I made a way back on Monday. So on Monday we had mince and tatties. This is a big, big favourite in our house and so very traditionally Scottish. So we'd mashed potato, some sliced carrots and I made the mince in the slow cooker with some peas and onions and I just popped a wee bit of puff pastry on top. I'll leave a video recipe for the slow cooker mince underneath. Moving on to Tuesday, a very simple tomato and mascarpone pasta. So that's penny pasta with a tomato sort of ma mascarpone cheese base. And I put garlic and chilli and onion and parmesan cheese and all sorts of goodness in there. And we also had garlic bread. Moving on to Wednesday and I made sausage casserole. So I had some baby potatoes. That's the sausage casserole there with some mixed veg and a wee Yorkshire pudding from the freezer. Why not? I had to use them up so... On it went. Moving on to Thursday and with our usual cheeseburger pasta bake. Another one that I'll leave a video on in the description box down below. Another big, big favourite in the house. You've got macaroni, ground beef, grated cheese, onions, tomato soup. And it sounds horrendous, but it's really delicious. Yeah, big favourite that one. Moving on to Friday and with fish and chips. So I got some cod from the local fishmonger and those are just some frozen chips and I just popped them in some egg and flour and then back into the egg and then some breadcrumbs. And we had some garden peas and a wee wedge of lemon on top and we also had tartar sauce and things on the table. Hey, that was washed. lovely. Moving on to yesterday and with mince pie or mince round if you're from this country. And again, I'll leave a video recipe for the mince pie underneath. We just had some plain boiled potatoes and carrot batons on the side. And moving on to today and we had chicken. So I got some chicken breasts from the local butcher and we had roast potatoes as well. Some carrot batons again and our beloved broccoli. <laughs> The chicken breast, some stuffing balls and some gravy on top. And this is now becoming one of our favourites. We do love chicken, especially from the butcher. Yeah, broccoli does make quite a lot of appearances in my meals of the week. Just before I move on, I wanted to say a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and also to the new channel members here on YouTube as well. So thank you once again, guys. It does mean ever so much. And I'm now just going to go into a few of your comments left on my videos this week. I used to do this every week, but, you know, I got a bit fed up with them. I didn't think folk were that interested in them, but when I took them away, folk were saying, you know, bring back the comments. We miss the comments. So I've decided to bring them back. So, yeah, this is just a few of your comments. Like I said, I do get thousands now. So this is just a wee few that I've pulled out of the hat. So your first comments from Virginia Smith. I've never seen or heard of this, but it looks like it would be great with coffee. And Virginia is referring to, of course, the chocolate tiffin that I made the other day. And it's absolutely beautiful, you know, loaded with calories because of all that sugar and chocolate and syrup and all that goodness. But it is lovely indeed with a coffee. So thank you very much for watching, Virginia. And do let me know if you end up making it. Your next comment is from the lovely Karen over at the Family Seesaw. And if you like my videos, why not check them out? Because they do very similar videos to what I do. And she's written, Caleb says he's 
He'd like dinner at your house because you have broccoli nearly every day. His favourite veg, lol. And Caleb is her little boy. Yeah, we do have... Ca uh, Karen, I was going to say. We do have broccoli quite a lot, Karen. It is one of our favourite vegetables, but it just seems to go with everything. You know, I do struggle to think of, you know, what veggies am I going to buy? And it's always cabbage, cauliflower, carrots and, yeah, broccoli. <laughs> Your next comment is from Mom Grandma Cheryl. You are most you are modest about your New Year's spread. It looks marvellous and quite tasty. And she's referring to the the wee nibbles that I put out for New Year's Eve. Yeah, it was just some cheese and crackers and I think I put out some grapes and chutney and um, biscuits and things. But you know, I do that every year and my mother done that and my granny done that. It's just a bit of a tradition. You'll have a bit of a lighter dinner and then, you know, just to make room for your snacks and things leading up to the bells on home. Hogmanay is what we call New Year's Eve. So, yeah, it was really tasty. But thank you for watching. Your next comment's from Christine K. Hey, how come all of us subscribers weren't invited on New Year's Eve with all that tasty food? Lol. Well, yeah, somebody had actually, uh, somebody had actually commented lockdown, and I'm going to say lockdown. You know, nobody can go anywhere, which is rubbish. But luckily, there were a few of us here, so we are in our own wee bubble. So we managed to have a wee party just in our own. But hopefully, you managed to celebrate somehow. Hopefully, a wee bubble of your own, or even a lovely wee pet to keep you company but maybe next year and thank you for watching Next up, we've got Rosemary and Michael. Uh, those rose potatoes always look so good. Well, thank you very much, but I have done a video recipe on rose potatoes, which again, I'll leave underneath this video if you want to go and check that out. They're very, very easy to do, you know, really simple, but they are delicious. So thank you very much for watching and for your comment as well. Your last comment this week before your giveaway, your next giveaway announcement is from Jean Winders or Winders. I'm sorry if I've said your name wrong there. Happy Hogmanay. We love BBC's Edinburgh Hogmanay special. It's such a different way to start the new year. Hope you are all, hope you are well. I love your menus and love to see videos of Scotland. Well, thank you very much, Jean, for watching. And like I said before, Hogmanay, if you don't know, is New Year in Scotland. That's just what we call New Year's Eve, if you like. Don't know why that is actually, but yeah, it's Hogmanay in Scotland and quite often we will watch the BBC coverage or the TV coverage of leading up to New Year and then you'll always get the bells and TV and, you know, that signals the sort of start of the next year and I remember doing that when I was a wee girl with my mum and dad as well. So yeah, fond memories of that. So thank you very much for watching and as promised, I'm going to give you a wee sneak peek of the next giveaway that's coming up. It's going to be my biggest giveaway yet and it's going to be another cash giveaway hosted again by Raffle Copter because it was just so easy the last time and the next giveaway is going to be at 90 thousand subscribers. It is a wee bit away at the moment but these uh, giveaways just seem to be kind of back to back at the moment so yeah I, I don't I don't think it'll take that long to get to 90,000 but when I'm at 90,000 subscribers I will be giving you details of that giveaway. Like I said it's going to be another cash giveaway it's going to be international so you can enter wherever you are and I'll give you more details of that when the time comes but it is going to be my biggest one yet. It's just my way of giving back and saying thank you to you all for your loyal viewership and for your likes and your comments and all of the lovely stuff that you do so until I see you next time guys mind to keep your eyes and ears open for that one and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea so take care and bye for now bye now <laughs>